for work around much of the Bay Area with those high temperatures we're expecting, Mary. Yeah, and we are looking at today the start of our inland heat wave with those temperatures soaring into the 90s and triple digits inland. Uh, as we look along the coast with that ocean breeze, it's going to be a little bit more comfortable. Here's a live look with our Salesforce Tower camera as we look east, and you can see that sunshine out there shining across the bay. Beautiful sight. We will see plenty of sunshine helping to heat us up, though, as we go through our day with daytime highs well above average for this time of year. We are in the 50s to low 60s at this hour, and now let's show you the heat advisories and excessive heat warnings that kick into effect at 11 a.m. today. So the area is highlighted in orange. That's that heat advisory for the North Bay, the South Bay, and the East Bay interior. So east of the Berkeley Hills, all under a heat advisory today due to highs into the 90s to triple digits and triple digit heat even hotter for the areas highlighted in pink for Solano County, the Sacramento Valley, and San Joaquin Valley under an excessive heat warning for today. And it gets even hotter as we look to tomorrow. Still looking at heat advisories for the North Bay, the South Bay, but the East Bay interior, an excessive heat warning will be in effect for tomorrow uh, for the areas in pink there. So here is a look at our inland heat wave and what you can expect. So extreme heat today, dangerously hot conditions as we look to your Thursday with temperatures on Thursday inland, the hottest of the week, still hot on Friday. And then we're going to start to cool it down as we look to our weekend and especially into next week. So for today, again, looking at that inland heat wave beginning with that ridge of high pressure over the desert southwest. In fact, uh, at least looking at Death Valley, 126 for a daytime high today. So really SoCal and the desert southwest that ridge of high pressure right over them. They're going to feel that intense heat, but we are going to see hot temperatures as well here in the Bay Area. So as that ridge builds into California, again, our inland heat peaks on Thursday. And on Thursday, we are looking at some record-breaking highs. Santa Rosa, Livermore, Concord, likely breaking the record high for the day as we look to tomorrow. Now, on Futurecast with our winds, we are looking at that ocean breeze kicking in for us, and that's the reason why along the coast and around the Bay, we're going to see temperatures a little bit mild term. Sunrise at 547 and our sunset at 833. So daytime highs for the South Bay, looking at 89 in Santa Clara, 90 for San Jose, upper 90s for Morgan Hill. So the South Bay, again, you will be under that heat advisory for today, as well as over the next couple of days. The East Bay, triple digit heat, Concord, Pleasant Hill, 100 for Pittsburgh, 102 in Fairfield under that excessive heat warning, looking at 101 in Antioch also, uh, Antioch also for Brentwood, mid to upper 90s for the Tri-Valley this afternoon. As we look around the bay from 74 in San Francisco, 82 in Oakland, and for the North Bay in the low to mid 90s, 93 for a high in Napa and 101 in St. Helena. So it gets even hotter as we look to your Thursday. Still hot on Friday, but we're going to start to cool it down for our weekend, including Father's Day, a little bit more comfortable, and then cooling it down to right around where we should be for this time of year for early next week. All right, let's check in with.